Hey guys, how's it going? So I have an incredibly exciting unboxing today and we're gonna do it right out here, right out of the back of the pickup because this is the biggest unboxing I have ever done. This palette is full of pottery from Michael Carr Designs. So I do know that there's pots on this palette, but I don't know how many, what color, what style, what size. I do think though that we have a few aqua pots on this load, which are the very first self-watering ceramic containers that are on the market. So I'm super excited about that. I'm, it's a little confusing though. I think it's a partnership between three people. So we have Michael Carr Designs who manufactures these pots, Jack Barnwell, who many of you know, who designed the aqua pot portion. So the self-watering portion and then proven winners. So all three of them, not sure exactly how it works, but I'm super thankful to have this palette of pottery. Um, anyway, I think we should just get right into it see what's in here and then I'll explain because Jack did show us the aqua pots when we were on Mackinac Island this last year and kind of how they worked so I'll show it to you and I'm super excited to try them out this year look at that blue is the Pantone color of the year this reminds me of my garden center days spent a lot of time unpacking pottery okay so first off they are packed really well look at that frost resistant on the label that's super important in our area so here's the first set these are a nice cobalt blue. Uh, the color on the description, I have the packing list here, says light blue. This is an 18 and a half inch diameter pot and 18 and a half inches tall. And then the second one is 13 and a half inch diameter and 14 and a half inches tall. And then we've got 10 inch diameter pot right here. These would look super pretty with light blue hydrangeas in them and like white lobelia. That'd be really pretty. Golden Creeping Jenny. Okay, now I'm gonna set all of the pots to the side and we'll work on the second, second group. So these are the aqua pots. This one is a 21 inch diameter and this one I think is 17 and a half. This is what one of them looks like all set up just so you kind of have a visual there. And I wanted to show you what it looks like before you put the pieces in. This is the interior of the pot. Of course, no drain hole. You can see the rim that has been built in right here. And that's what all of our contraption will sit on. I don't know what any of these pieces are called, but we've got our center disc and our center cylinder that you're supposed to thread together here. Let me do that. There, got it. Okay, so I'm just resting the disc right on top of that rim. So you see the rim in there? This just goes in and rests right on top of it. And then we've got this tube right here that goes down in a hole right there. And this is our water access. So we can put our garden hose or our watering can to fill up the reservoir. Um, and then there is an overflow hole right here. So once the reservoir is full, water will come out the back rather than subbing up into your container. Uh, so the whole reason why Jack kind of figured out or started to design the aqua pot feature is because he was in a quandary. He has these, I mean, you guys know, those of you who watch our videos have seen probably him tour us through some of the gardens that he's designed and maintained. Big, beautiful homes, and they really wanted some gorgeous pots, but they needed to be self-watering. Um, and the only thing on the market at the time were plastic pots, and we've showed you the plastic self-watering. We've been using some around here. Um, but he didn't want to, like his clients didn't really want plastic pots. And you guys know, like my style usually lends toward concrete, terracotta, you know, more natural materials as well. So he figured out a way to do it in ceramic pots. So he had something a little bit nicer looking to use. And the other thing is, I think that these are going to be a lot less likely to plug, which honestly, we dealt with some plugging issues in two of our containers along the fence line this last year. Um, I think it's because, you know, down where the water usually wicks up, they're just tiny little holes. And once they're plugged, they're plugged. But this one, if we take an insert out, you can see that the holes, like these cuts are much bigger. So if you have like a grass root or ipomea or whatever root come down and come through, you still have all of this open. Like I really highly doubt that the roots are going to plug up all of this surface area that, that is available right here. And the last thing is that you can take them apart and clean them, which would help with plugging anyway, because you know, we used our pots for two full seasons never had a plugging issue and then we experienced it the third season and had we been able to maybe take those pots apart and clean them out we probably would have not had the problem but these you can just take these three parts out take them apart clean them storm for the winter bring them back out and have a brand new fresh pot to start with 
for the season. So anyway, that is what aqua pots are like. I don't know how readily they're going to available. They're going to be this year because they are so new. Um, but check with your local garden center. That's where they will be. If you don't see any, ask somebody there. Um, I know I come from a garden center background, so I know that sometimes it's hard to keep up on the latest things that are going on because we're really busy. Um, so just mention it to somebody if that's something you're interested in. And also watch our videos this year because we will be planting up. I think there might be three sets based on what I'm seeing now, three sets of aqua pots in here. Um, and we'll plant them up and give you guys kind of a play by play on what we discover and how we like how they're working, etc. So anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is unpack the rest of this. I think I'm going to ask Aaron for his help because they are quite heavy. Um, and then we will get them all lined up and show you everything when it's all done. You guys look, look at all of these pots. I'm so excited. Like my mind is just reeling, thinking of all the different things that we can plant in these containers this year. And there are four sets of aqua pots. So four sets of aqua pots, three sets of regular pots. I just kind of want to run through them really quick and give you the details that I have. Now, I don't know if there's a specific name for all the styles we're looking at here. I'll look on the website. If we find anything, we'll pop it up on the screen. But the packing list does tell me color and dimension. So I'll give you that information. Like this one, they call red. Um, and this is a 18 inch diameter. This one is a 15 inch diameter. And it's got just this nice, clean, simple design. It looks just very smooth and kind of like modern, very much so a statement color in the garden. Um, these would be interesting to plant in. You guys know I don't use like a ton of really bright colors. And it may be that we plant up some of these and give them to friends and family or something like that. Um, you will most likely see all of these in videos at one point or another this year, but definitely interesting to have all of this variety. Now these are called Vol it's a volcanic finish with milky blue. So milky blue on the bottom, which looks kind of like sea foam to me. And then this volcanic finish on the top, super interesting. I really like this look, like that really natural look. And I feel like this color is really easy to pair with a whole bunch of other different colors. So you can plant all different kinds of combinations in here and it'll look really good. So we already talked about these containers and the white aqua pots. So these are called matte black. And I know this is going to seem boring, but these are my favorite containers of the whole collection because they're neutral. I really like this charcoal gray black color. Um, you can put any plant, any color, you can incorporate it into any design and it'll go. And I always appreciate that in pots as opposed to like, you know, the red one, definitely a statement container in the garden. And sometimes you need that, but oftentimes I want something that will kind of like blend really nicely. Then we've got a trio of, these are regular draining containers. They have drain holes at the bottom. These are in the color Peacock, which they are perfectly named. Like, I don't know how else you would describe that color. I would imagine this would be a crowd pleaser, pleaser color. Like these, if I was down at the garden center, these, and the ones at the very end, I think would sell the quickest. That, that's my prediction. Um, and then we've got this one right here is the last set of aqua pots. They call this antique white. And I haven't been giving dimensions on all of them, but they're pretty similar, 21 inches, 17 inches. But I think the leaf design here is really pretty. I can imagine doing like a monochromatic kind of design in here or soft pinks or purple, I don't know, all the things, <laughs> all the flowers. I think that'd be really pretty. Now these right here are uh, the color eggplant. So this is a regular draining container. They have a really neat kind of, what is that? It's not honeycomb, it's honeycomb-esque. It's just a nice, interesting, unique design on the side and that really pretty deep purple quilted. Yeah, I think it's probably closer to quilted than honeycomb. Good call, Erin. <laughs> anyway, that's the pots. Like, what an exciting day. I hope that this was a fun unboxing for you guys to watch. And you'll be able to see these again, and you'll see how we end up utilizing them. And we will be reporting back a lot on the aqua pots and how they work for us and, you know, how, what we end up planting in them. Um, so anyway, I'm going to start really planning. I'm going to have fun with this. In fact, I'll probably go in this evening after Benjamin goes down for the night and I'll have my notepad out and I'll probably start mapping out what flowers I want to put in all these containers. Huge thank you again to Michael Carr Designs, Proven Winners, and Jack Barnwell. This is amazing. So excited to garden this year. In fact, I was just thinking the other day that it's only like 10 and a half, 11 months until I have to decorate for Christmas again. So like spring will be here before we know it. Time goes so fast. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,